Recently, I started filling in gaps in my skateboard game collection and picked up some stuff that I missed out on when it was new. One of these games is Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam for the Wii. I mean, look at this thing. It doesn't exactly scream by me. It screams, Whoa, this is totally radical, dude. Ha ha ha. And in fact, not many people did buy it. It only moved about 240,000 copies, around seven times fewer than the PS2 version of American Wasteland. Let's see what else we can learn from the case. Ah, uh, it was developed by Toys for Bob, who previously worked with the Tony Hawk engine on Disney's Extreme Skate Adventure. This doesn't feel anything like any of the other Tony Hawk games, but it does use the same trick mechanics, so that's actually a good thing. Alright, what else? Oh yeah, with the revolutionary Wii Remote, you'll steer with tilt to control your turns, balance your grinds, and speed boost to the biggest thrill ride with Tony yet. Ah yes, now we're in for it. You hold the controller sideways and tilt to steer or rotate while you're in the air. You shake the controller to get up when you fall and to set off the boost. As you'd expect, it just barely works. Okay, now we're all set up for disappointment, let's get started. The first thing you'll notice is that the game doesn't look or feel anything like Tony Hawk. The characters are all fictional, except for Tony himself. It tries to have attitude and edge, but also be cartoony. Sort of like SSX, which it so desperately wishes it could be. There are eight worlds in a few different runs. Each run has various paths and hidden routes. There are a few game modes, namely Race, Slalom, where you pass through gates, and that's helpful because it guides you through some of the shortcuts that you'll use in other modes. Then there's Trick Mode, where you beat a high score, and a few special event types, like this one, where I had to grind a certain distance to get the medal. There are also special events based on causing property damage. As part of the tood of the game, the developers have added combat. You can punch and kick fellow riders, and also random bystanders. In fact, there are events based around hitting as many people as you can. In regular races, it's the easiest way to gain boost. But another way to gain boost is by doing good tricks. Now this is something that this game should excel at. The Tony Hawk trick system had been carefully refined and balanced for 7 years already. How does it hold up in this game? The trick selection is still good. All the basic tricks and the double tap versions of them are in place. Double impossibles, triple kick flips, wrap around grabs, you name it. But unfortunately, this is the Wii. You play with a regular controller held sideways, meaning you have a grand total of two face buttons. The one button does flips and grinds, and the two button crouches and also does grabs. As you can imagine, you'll accidentally do flips right as you try to land on a rail, or grab right as you're about to land, but that doesn't actually matter. In a move to simplify the action and focus on the racing, the trick system has been butchered. You can do flips, grabs, and spins like crazy and land sideways. You'll still roll away, no matter what. You'll keep more speed if you land straight, but it's not really a big deal. I can see why they did this. There's so much going on, and the controls are so loose, it would be incredibly frustrating to actually worry about properly landing tricks all the time. There are also no reverts or manuals to worry about. One new rule is that repeated tricks don't add to your multiplier. This is meant to discourage spamming the same trick over and over, which is easy to do when you're just mashing buttons during a race. Not a bad idea, but I didn't know about that until I was almost done with the game and I glanced through the manual. Let's look at a typical event. When you start, you're treated to an unreasonably long cutscene with a character being interviewed. You know, I left my kidney in San Francisco. Don't you mean your heart? No, I do mean my kidney. It was back in 99. They were never able to find it. You can skip it, but you have to hit the plus button. Took me a while to figure that out. These interviews are pointless, and are only designed to add to the cheesy atmosphere of the game, but they mess with the pacing. You're about to start a race, but first you have to take a break and watch this. Tony Hawk is pretty cute for an older ex-skater. He's not that old, and he's not an ex-skater either. <laughs> but you do think he's cute, huh? So you complete the event, and you gain points based on how well you placed. You'll unlock new events, new ranks, concept art, and new outfits for characters. 
And if you're really lucky, you'll get this cheap cutscene of Tony Hawk yelling at you. Woo! Thank you! That means you unlocked a new board. Unlocking new boards is how you progress in the game, since your character doesn't have upgradable stats. The boards are from brands like Powell, Sector 9, Element, and Birdhouse, of course. Wait, Tony Hawk is a dude? <laughs> I thought he was just like a company or something. Well, he does own a company. Why would I be scared of him then? Just because he owns a company? That ain't scary. When you start an event, you can choose which board is best suited to it. You might need a board with a high combat rating or just straight speed. It's actually kind of fun to watch your skater do normal flip tricks on a long board. It might have been cool if there was a stat that made these types of boards flip slower, but they didn't bother with that. Beat some events and you'll unlock a new area and new tiers of competition. None of this is exactly revolutionary, but it's solid. And I think that's a good way to describe the game as a whole. It doesn't do anything brand new and exciting, but you do get your money's worth. I wouldn't say this is a bad game, but I would say it's a bad Tony Hawk skateboarding game. I would have expected it to be more like a 3D version of Ali Ali 2. More trick focused and maybe with manuals. Maybe you get a speed boost every time you land in a manual, and there are challenges to complete a level in one massive combo. You know, that kind of stuff. But maybe that's just me. If you are interested in this game, I'd like to point out that there's also a PS2 version of it. You know, a system that has buttons and analog sticks. From what I've seen of reviews, it plays a lot better, but that makes the game too easy compared to the Wii version. Your call. Either way, for four bucks, I think it's alright. And that's about all I can say. So tell me, what's your favorite trick racing game? Do you think Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam is better than the SSX series? Or is there another better one I don't know about? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe with the button below. After that, check out some of these other videos. The first one is for Ali Ali 2, which I mentioned earlier, and the other is a list of some of the newest innovations in skateboard tech.